All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakradash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Well, salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is from the brother page, GMS Holland. You know, I was uh, checking the page out. He put this video up of this woman here. Which her name is, uh, Chris, I, I seen her before. Uh, what's her name? Oh, Christine Austin, I believe that's her name. And, um, she, uh, had another video, a very long, like, documentary, and she was getting on the bankers. I forgot her, um, her title, but I know she's, uh, you know, a part, she was a part, you know, of, um, those groups, all right? But I don't think she's a part of it anymore But she's exposing, you know, like whistleblowing So I was watching the brother's video here And she's still exposing So I want to play the video And Lord willing, may I grab a scripture All Right And this is from the brother's page GMS Holland uh, Let me get it right GMS Holland The Great it's a lot here. The Great Gathering 144 4X Okay you want to check out the video entirely because I might not play the whole thing. You have this balance of power between the people and the bankers. And now what is happening under the guise of COVID-19 is the bankers have decided they no longer want to share power with the electorate or the people's representatives. And whether through FASB 56 or levering the governments up so they're deeply in debt and dependent on the central banks, the central banks have decided essentially to take over. And the ultimate sort of completion of this will be when they introduce digital currencies controlled and operated by the central bank why is and you heard what she said she said digital currency all right because the bankers as we always been speaking about these um international bankers which the bible you know we know what nationality they are and that's esau but she said when they introduce this digital currency which that digital currency is going to go in the ways of the microchip. All right? Salakia. So oh, shit. Oh, got some poor Dominican parade or whatever going on. Salakia, so man. Got caught up in this shit. Let me get past it. different offices all right of uh, their power and control you know so this is why the prophets let me say starting with my elders apostles here at great millstone and the men on down brothers spread out throughout the four corners of the world all right brothers been telling you that you know this is it this is the end man all right and they're gonna force that mark which is the karagma all right so let's continue the video that important because they won't be currencies now they will be a financial control system to implement that system they need the vaccine passports and the goal of the vaccine passports have nothing to do with health they have to do with implementing a new digital financial transaction system which is in essence complete control so i call it a slavery system uh dr naomi wolf said vaccine passports are the end of human human liberty in the west and she's absolutely right. So when you say digital currencies, you know, I, at many of these events I, I've been speaking at, uh, many of my friends are, you know, big on Bitcoin or Ethereum saying this is our way forward. This is how we set ourselves free. This is how we break free of those power mongers running the world. And it sounds like you're saying, no, that's exactly this, how they finish the not, death blow. This is not what the central bankers are planning. And I sent your staff a 56 second of the video of the Bank of International Settlements general manager Karstens explaining right. exactly what it meant. 
Okay, we've got it. Play it. Yeah, let's play it. Let's okay. see what this is. Okay. Our analysis on CBDC, in particular, for the use of general to the general use, uh, we tend to establish the equivalence with cash, uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who's using a one hundred dollar bill today. We don't know who is using a one thousand peso bill today. Yeah. Uh, a key difference in with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also, we will have the technology to enforce that. Those are those two issues are extremely important, and that makes a huge difference with respect to what she, to what cash is. Hey, that's it, man. You know, like he said, man, they, they they're telling you what's coming down the pipe. They want to be able to track you. If they they can't track someone with a Federal Reserve note and knowing that they spent a hundred dollars they can track you through your credit card debit card all right but they can't track you if you spend a hundred dollars if you spend in cash so they want to be able to track everyone they want to be able to track everyone and how do you track everyone all right you give them that mark so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave a link so you can watch the whole video from the brothers page gms holland and i gotta read the scripture so i keep I read this earlier in another lesson. I'll read it again. This is Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6, which that 3 score... Excuse me, which that 600, three score and six goes into chi, phi, stigma, which means to prick, okay? And the word mark goes into the karagma, all right? So you better get this understanding. That's why verse 16 said, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. So you're supposed to know what the mark of the beast is, man, all right? And we know what it is, you know? That's why we're being censored. We could barely speak on YouTube, all right? Because... Eventually, they're going to put a, a ban on the Bible, man. They're going to put a ban on, on brothers speaking. And that's the famine of the word. So, man, this is it, man. It's, it's always information coming out. You got to research it and find it. And brothers are watchmen, man. You know, this is good news, man. All right. And I've seen this woman before. Her name is Christina Austin. All right. She had a doc documentary. And she's exposed them, man. You know, so it's a good watch. You want to, you know. You know, uh, uh, no, get into what time we're living in, man. What's that? Second address nine and one. Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, then thou shalt know that this is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.